What's up guys, Brad Chapel here, Crappie Connection. I'm out here on Ross Barnett, beautiful fall day, and I've got some really exciting news for you guys. Kind of been holding this back and trying not to tell everybody about it, but I can release it now and let everybody know that Bobby Garland's got a brand new bait out and it's definitely designed for live scoping open water fish and it's called the Live Roamer. It's just coming out right now. They've got 11 different colors and I'm gonna take you out on the lake with me today and go out here and see if I can catch them on this new bait. But first off, I want you to make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn in the notifications on, and I'm gonna show you even how to rig this bait up. <clears throat> this is how I'm gonna use it today. First off, I'm using a 16 foot B&M Black Diamond live scoping pole. That's what this pole is designed for. I'm using 12 pound fluorocarbon with a little Bass Pro Shops Crappie Max Baitcaster Reel. Works really good, been using them for years. But I've got two bobber stops already tied on my line right here. Hopefully you can see it good. Next thing I'm gonna do is put a half ounce, just regular old egg sinker on, on my line and drop it down. That top bobber stops are gonna stop it from going any further up. Now I've got some more bobber stops and these are just a medium sized bobber stop. And all you do to put them on your line is take your line, take it through the little loop right here. If I can get it, take it through the little loop, slide it up on the line and you just pull it right off. And there's your bobber stop sitting on the line. I'm going to cinch it up to the egg sinker. And I always like using two at the top and two on the bottom. So I'm going to take another bobber stop. Put it on the line. Slide it up on the line. Pull it off. And cinch it up to my bobber stop my other lead here so I've got it pegged in place today I'm gonna use a, a 1 16th crappie pro overbite jig head and I'm gonna try to use this blue I like blue I'm gonna put my jig head on it's easier said than done some days I've got it on here and I'm gonna just use my loop knots my favorite knot to use gives that jig total freedom. So I've got it on here and I pinched my lines together and I'm gonna take a loop, pinch the back side, run it through there three times. One, two, three. Here we go. I'm gonna pinch the back side now to close it shut. I'm by the main line pulling it tight close it up and now I've got a little loop knot. I'm going to show you a real cool feature about this jig body as well. This is the new Bobby Garland Live Roamer and hopefully you can see a little bit about it. This is Cajun Cricket. This is the front profile of it but you can actually rig it two different ways and once we get on the water, we'll kind of determine which way the fish are wanting it the best at eight. <clears throat> but it gives you two different ways to actually fish this bait. First way is I'm gonna actually rig it flat. So it'll kind of flutter down as it's getting to these, these fish. And to do that, you just run it through the top of the head, bring it about right to the center of the bait. You can see it right between those color lines. pop it in there and here it is right there and that's rigged flat and as this bait falls this is going to kind of flutter down to them the other way you can rig this bait just to make it look exactly like a minnow run it back through and have it set up just like a minnow would be same profile as a minnow they got 11 different colors coming out. Cajun Cricket, Blue Shiner. It's just a couple of the new colors. Both of them look really good. Cajun Cricket should be really good today. 
We'll try some different colors as well. So stay tuned. Let's get after the new live roamer and get after them. See if we can get this party started with some fish. All I'm right now, I'm looking for open water suspended fish. And I've got my range set out about 100 feet here. And I'm just searching in a deep hole right in this area. It's kind of uh, a lot of shallow water completely around me. The river channel's on due east of me right now. But I'm just going to look for open water roaming fish, also what I call wolf packs. Water temperature, 77 degrees this morning. It's cooled off a tremendous amount in the last two weeks. And it's causing these fish to get out here and suspend up. I'm using a, uh, the Garmin live scope, of course, but I'm using a 32 transducer. Uh, I really like using it whenever I'm chasing open water fish. Seems like you can size them up and just get a, a, a better feel for them, in my opinion. And like I said, we're just going to look for some little wolf packs and suspended crappie. And whenever I'm doing this, I really don't ever want these baits to get below where these fish are. So I'm always going to keep it in front of them. Now this fish is about 13 right now. So I'm going to drop my bait down. And I like kind of to tickle this pole. He's moving. He didn't want me to get too close to him still. There's a fish deep. fish might be a little spooky and as you can see it never did let me get really close to it before it decided to leave my life one thing the pros ain't gonna show you there boys is tapping that pole tapping the pole tapping the pole definitely appreciate everybody watching hopefully you can learn a little bit today Beautiful fall afternoon or fall morning. This is what I would describe as a little wolf pack on the screen right now. It's about 30, 40 feet out. Can't tell the size of them yet. They don't look like monsters or nothing, but we're not monster crappie fishing, we're fishing. So they look like some good ones to get after. I've been referring to them as wolf packs because if you look at them, they're just really tight together like a little pack. And I'm out here hunting like a pack of wolves would do. I got them at 20 feet. Didn't see it. See the fish on the screen. As you can see, as I'm dipping it in, I'm taking my left hand and just easing it down with them. He's coming up. Got him. First one in the box. Like I said, the little live roamer. Oh, and it looks just like a little minnow, don't it? I see a wolf pack on the screen. Got it set out, looking at a distance, just looking for some open water fish still. As I'm looking out right now, I'm setting it out to a, a hundred feet. I can see a little something right here on this screen. I believe it's a piece of up here. I can see it sticking up. I see my wolf pack. I see crappie sitting on it at about 50 feet. And right now, like I said, I've got this new bait rigged up just like you would 
a regular minnow style. And that fish ate it pretty good. 20 feet. Let's dip it down on them. And we'll kind of bring it over them. That fish saw it. Oop, he missed it. Oh, I missed it. I got that one. Another just great eating style fish here. Got the live roamer. Slab approved. See the fish on the screen? You can see the top of the log right there pretty well. Let's see if we can get one to come on out play with us. I'm keeping it above them. See that one fish seen it. He made a pass at it right there. They are just nipping on him. I'm going to give the old speckled pearl a shot. It's pretty in it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Another one right there. Perfect eating fish. Look how fat the little bellies are. Got that one. Yes, sir. Number four. Just trying to be quiet. Just trying to let everything keep quiet. We're going to try one rigged flat now. All right, time to rig one flat. Just bite off a little piece of the top. We'll come back and I want this to come out right in the middle of the fish of the bait itself. You can see I got rigged flat here this time. Just like a shad that would be fluttering down. You got him. That's a good one. Yes, sir, another one in the boat. I got another color that I want to try. Electric chicken.
Got him, got it. There we go. Just barely picked it up. Oh, not a good old fish. Yes, sir. Got a little old bite. Got that one too. I ain't liking to let you chicken, folks. Kinda looks like catfish. But he ain't, he's a little old eater. He's a little old eater. Good little eater. Long roamer. No one for the box. All right, guys, Brad Chapel here. Just got back from the lake. Had a really fun time today testing out the new Bobby Garland live roamer. Great new baits. We'll pop up all the new colors on the screen. Should be available whenever you see this video. So get out there, look for the new Bobby Garland live roamers. Make sure you hit subscribe, follow. Until next time, Brad Chapel here. Holla.